Welcome, watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. And here is a preview of a game that's coming up on the Amiga. Yes, you heard me right, Amiga. And it's a bit of a good one. Yes, it's Castlevania. Um, and it looks freaking phenomenal. And uh, I, I'll tell you what, the it's a very, very exciting time for the Amiga right now because we saw Rastan the other day, and now I'm bringing you this. We've also got Robocop, the arcade game in the works as well. Uh, lots of good stuff coming from the uh, for the Amiga. Hopefully this coming year, actually. So I'm, I'm hoping, because the year is actually disappearing quite quickly. Um, but look at this. I mean, this is just glorious. Now, it is AGA, so you will have to play this on a 1200 or on um, on emulation with a 1200 emulator in place, uh, which is fairly easy. Win UAE does the job on that one. So there you are. But, by God, look at this. It's absolutely stunning. Lovely smooth animations. Everything's there. The backdrops are all really nicely done as well. The, um, the enemy types are all there, which is great. And... Um, I mean, this just, it, I mean, it looks very much like the uh, like the SNES, which is great. And um, I just, just love, I mean, you know I like my Castlevania games anyway, but this is fantastic, actually. Um, we're going to cover all the uh, all the bits and pieces. It's only going to be about a 10-minute-ish uh, run-through, because it's not the full game. Um, but we'll have a look through, we'll uh, mark it out of 10 at the end um, on its current state and uh, then we'll go from there. So there we are. So graphics straight away are absolutely gorgeous. You've got all of the backgrounds in place, you've got some cracking animations there with the main character as well, which is brilliant. Um, nice and smooth as you can see, everything's just just awesome. And if you actually take note of the animations that we're watching now, oh, that door's having a bit of a, a bit of a Benny there. Um, so there we are, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the backgrounds as you go past the windows as well, just to uh, just to highlight some of these things. Now I can't seem to get through the stairs. I don't know if that's intended or not, but uh, on obviously on the NES version you could jump through the steps and uh, retrieve stuff on the other side of the steps. I don't know if that's intended or not. But here's our first boss, and it is the big bat which, as you probably remember from the uh, NES version, is uh, a, a big giant bat. So, awesome. Oh, the screen jumped. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen, but uh, it, might. it is. Remember to bear in mind that this is just a demo. Um, so there's probably going to be lots of tweaks and things change between now and the finished game, which I can't actually wait for now because this game is absolutely just blowing my mind right now. So here we are in the second set and we've got all the weapons and stuff are intact as well. So we've got the boomerang now, um, we've had the, the dagger, the holy water, oh there's another, there's another hidden secret, um, and we've had the, the axe as well. So now we've got the uh, now we've got the boomerang. Now to activate your special weapon you just need to hold down the fire button, so no up and fire at the same time, just hold down the fire button which I've got to say is a little, where's he going? Okay, uh, not sure he was meant to do that. So, developers, if you're uh, if, <laughs> if you're watching this review, there's one for you. Uh, enemies just rampaging off the side of the screen without any platforms to walk on. Um, so, the oh, my favourite part of Castlevania, of course, right now with the Hydra heads or the Medusa heads, I hate those buggers. Um, what I am pleased to see is there's not as much knockback, which is really, really nice. If that's going to be a permanent thing with the, uh, with the game, I will absolutely thumbs up on that one because those heads in the uh, original Castlevania games are absolute pains in the arse. Yes, they were. Because uh, if they hit you, they'd knock you back off ledges and all sorts of stuff. So the pushback on this is, is minimal, which is great to see. Uh, actually adds to the gameplay. It doesn't detract anything, which is nice. Um, so uh, graphics absolutely absolutely on the money sound sound is very good um i've got to say that the first rendition of um of vampire killer was absolutely fantastic love that um i don't know if the rest of the rest of the uh the level tracks are going to get revamped as well this i'm not i'm being overly picky now but there's just a couple of things that I think the music could benefit from a bit of bit of boosting. Oh, and it is still one shot, one death if you one shot death if you walk into those. 
Oh well. Um, but yeah, I mean the 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 music's great, but I just think maybe could be better. But that's just me being an absolute Nintendo enthusiast because I love the soundtrack on the NES. Um, but Vampire Killer in this in this first level here was absolutely fantastic. Uh, it just feels a little bit lackluster now, but that is me being overly critical. So there. Um, but nice to see everything is in here. The music score is there. Um, lots of nice sound effects as well. So we've got collecting hearts and we've got the whip and everything else that goes with it. So um, absolutely fantastic as well. So apart from apart from me being overly uh, critical on the music score, um, the, again, it's going to score higher on that. So um, awesome stuff. I'm, I mean, you know what? You know, there's, there is still time for this to be get changed because, like I said, this is only a demo. Um, that seemed to be a lot of heads just attacking me at one go then. I'm not sure if that was intended. Never mind. Okay, so are we on to... We're on to a boss fight now. So we'll have a go at this. Oh, and she freezes you. That's lovely, isn't it? Alright, so I don't know what's happening with the screen there. Bit of, bit of screen shake going on and jumping up and down a bit. Um, I'm not sure that's supposed to be happening. So maybe that's another bug to, uh, to report. And... And she's dead! Hurrah! We did it! Hurrah! So there we go. Um, always try and get the uh, action pose when you get the orb at the end. Uh, controls are lovely, actually. Very, very good on that. So you've got left, right, up and down. Uh, up is jump, but then so is you've got the option of two buttons as well. One attack and one is jump. So you can just use that instead. Now, uh, this level, I think, leads you to the twin mummies at the end. So I, I'm guessing if it hasn't already, then this will be the last level of the demo but we'll, we'll continue going as far through as we can um playability it's going to be absolutely well it's it's already playable now so you can imagine the finished game is going to be absolutely fantastic and if you're a castlevania enthusiast like me then you are going to love this and considering this is on the amiga i mean oh God, like I, I, you know I, I said once i say it again it's amazing what people are finding with the Amiga can do now. The Scorpion engine, which I believe this is this was uh, designed on, has been a real boon for um, Amiga developers. Um, I think most of the new games coming out now have been Scorpion engine uh, based. It's a great bit of kit, I've got to say, and it's and it's produced some stunning results. Uh, I think Rastan is also uh, a Scorpion engine as well. I uh, believe this is, and uh, yeah, there's been lots of different, lots of different games come out that use the Scorpion engine. So that's been a real, like I said, a real boon. I'm not sure those doors are supposed to do that, but they, they do waz out a bit if you stand next to them. So there we are. So there's another bug report for you. Um, but I absolutely adore this. It's brilliant, and it's going to make a lot of people happy. For those of you that didn't have an NES and you only had your Amiga and you thought you missed out, well, now it's time to catch up a bit. The game is brilliant, absolutely. So um, I would, I, I'm going to give this a big thumbs up. Just a couple of those things, like I said, just need to be changed, perhaps. Um, but again, you know, the, the game itself is great. I love that boomerang; it's so cool. Um, but I, just everything is there. There's attention to detail is fantastic. Like I said, you do need a, an Amiga 1200 to play this. Other than that. Um, you can play. I believe you can play this on a stock 1200. Uh, you don't need anything special, and it was also on the hard drive as well. So yes, you can have this on your Amiga hard disk and uh, play it from there, which is my, probably my preference. That's what I've got it set up on my WinUAE anyway. So maybe it's the emulator that's causing some of the issues, but um, I'm not sure. So the screen jumping when you finish the game, that kind of thing. I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to happen because. WinUAE is such a good emulator. But here we are, the final boss room, and uh, I'm going to leave it there, folks. Um, when the game is released, I will bring you a full version review. Uh, until then, there's going to be some new stuff coming your way very soon with the channel. And um, again, apologies for everything being slowed down at the moment, but uh, yeah, things aren't great. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back very soon with a brand new one. Uh, you keep it retro, and as always, it's bye for now. Bye-bye!